Good morning. This is the service for the 22nd of November, the last Sunday of the church year. So next week will be New Year's. We're going to start with our opening hymn, The Day is Surely Drawing Near, Hymn 508. The day is surely drawing near when Jesus God's anointed in all his power shall appear as judge whom God appointed. Then fright shall banish idle mirth, and flames on flame shall ravage earth, as scripture long has warned us. The final trumpet then shall sound, and all the earth be shaken. And all who rest beneath the ground shall from their sleep awaken. But all who live will in that hour by God's almighty boundless power be changed at his commanding. The books are opened then to all, a record truly telling what each has done, both great and small, when he on earth was dwelling, and every heart be clearly seen and all be known as they have been in thoughts and words and actions. Then woe to those who scorn the Lord and sought but carnal pleasures, who here despised his precious word and love their earthly treasures. With shame and trembling they will stand, and at the judge's stern command to Satan be delivered. My Savior paid the debt I owe, and for my sin was smitten. Within the book of life I know, my name has not been written. I will not doubt, for I am free, and Satan cannot threaten me. There is no condemnation. May Christ our intercessor be, and through his blood and merit, read from his book that we are free with all who life inherit. Then we shall see him face to face with all his saints in that blessed place which he has purchased for us. O Jesus Christ, do not delay, but hasten our salvation. We often tremble on our way in fear and tribulation. O oh, hear and grant our fervent plea. Come, mighty judge, and set us free from death and every evil. We're going to use service setting one, found on page 151. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. 
But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins to God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for you, and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will continue with our psalm for today, which is Psalm 95, verses 1 through 7, the first half, 1 through 7a, 95. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We turn to 152. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, Comfort and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. 
You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Eternal God, merciful Father, you have appointed your Son as judge of the living and the dead. Enable us to wait for the day of his return, with our eyes fixed on the kingdom prepared for your own from the foundation of the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.